Hello everyone, finally parts arrived. So I'm completed recapping power supply board. You see all capacitors are Nichicon fine gold. Uh, I completed uh, amplifier boards. Again, all capacitors Nichicon fine gold here and here. Luckily, I still have some supply. And here I'm installed Nichicon but high endurance capacitors. Those are for higher temperature, 105 degrees versus others are 85 degrees. And it's 5,000 hours at 105 degrees versus regular capacitors gives only 2,000 hours. All right. So next, I need to pull these two guys out uh, to install these nice Nichicon capacitors. Maybe it's not Nichicon, let me see. Gold frame, Nichicon KG, yes. And 15,000 microfarad, 80 volts. That's what I will be installing. And I replaced this red Vima capacitors with the brand new Vima capacitors. Uh, I, that just has been like 160 volts. I didn't find, I installed 250 volts. Those are same size. So they fit quite easily. All right. So let me see how to pull these guys out. I believe I need to fully dismantle front panel. And then I probably even like pull out middle part and disassemble more screws to get this out. All right. See you in a moment. Okay, everyone, finally. I was able to pull out this capacitor, so uh, from the plus and minus I was able to remove con connectors uh, because they are just snapping connectors, all right. But uh, from the ground wire, this will solder it. Uh, the same solder it here, but it's a common bus here. So I had to cut these parts off and then desolder them separately because there was not enough heat uh, to desolder all these parts. So now I have to desolder these guys and then assemble everything back on the new capacitors and install them back. You see, so I was measuring and getting exactly the same size. So this capacitor should work well. All right, let me assemble and I will demonstrate you. Soon. Okay, everyone, it took a while, but finally I'm installed the brand new Nishikon Gold Series capacitors uh, all around. Power supply and all the other capacitors we observed. All right, so it's it took a while to solder these big guys. I had to use really high temperature on my soldering iron to make this happen. So now I can reduce it so it would not overheat anymore. Uh, so interesting experience. Would I do it again? Probably yes. Yeah, you see, I had to cut both pins from capacitors to be able to desolder the, uh, this connector pins like, or rails, uh, I don't know how to, to name them. Now you see everything soldered it uh, and the ground bus soldered it. So we should be good here. All right. So, It's time to turn this guy on and start tuning. I hope everything will work right away. If not, it will be an interesting exercise. All right, so one more time. Lots of gold. <laughs> I like these capacitors. They uh, really work really well. Um, use uh, nice, but uh, they a little bit distorts musically but distorts it <laughs> all right so see you soon 
And here I'm back. So I connected power amplifier to the four ohm 200 watt load. And if they will get hot, so I prepared the fan, which can be used. Also, I'm connected uh, oscilloscope to each load. And I'm currently feeding 400 gears, 20 millivolt. And on the output, I have about 700 millivolts peak to peak values. All right. So far it works, I measured power supply, it's plus, seven, plus 65 minus 65 volts. So we should be good, so far everything works. We can try to add a little bit power. So, see, one, one square is one volt. So here is two volts on the output. Four volts, doing great, no heat so far, and you see, four volts, they are, became even, and the lower values, a little bit, not even, you see, left channel, changes up a little bit, so, let me see. Transistors getting hot, really. This, these transistors with radiators are hot. Right. And same on the other channel. They are really getting hot. This transistor is getting warm. So, 4 volts by 4 ohm it's 1 ampere so it's 4 watts this resistor is cool it's good starting to dissipate some heat yes i can feel transistors getting warm the power transistors all right all right so i would not give big a lot tonight so I will be, so you see it's 110 millivolts. I will not be giving more load tonight, so I will um, find service manual and tune all the modes first, and then we will give a full load and see, because a full load is the last spot to adjust for distortions on the full power and I believe you would need to use a fan so everything is prepared amplifier works that's a good sign so meet you tomorrow when I will do a proper tuning see you and bye bye